they're currently at $2.36 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $4.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 97.88% increase. Hey guys, this is June 17th through 21st of 2024, this week's winning stocks. And as we start looking at the stocks on our watch list, you know that I like to start with the SPY, the Dow, and the NASDAQ because those three pretty much represent the entire market. And we see that for the S&P 500, it pushed up again this week to a new high, but pushed back down by the end of the week. Still a positive week, but only slightly positive. Now, the Dow, on the other hand, was moving in a sideways motion for about the previous three weeks. Still moving sideways, but pushed up a little above the others this week. And the NASDAQ, pretty much similar to the SPY, it pushed up in the week, but came back down towards the end of the week. So having said that, we're going to take a look at the stocks on our watch list. But first, I want to take a jump over to the app that has brought us most of our stocks as of lately. So previously, we'd have to go through a, or I should say, I would have to go through a manual process of finding these stocks. But now... We have the Stock Sage app, which finds them for us. And because the app is doing it, rather than it being done manually, it can find many more opportunities. So what the app does is it looks at the stock market pretty much every day it's opened, and it separates all of the stocks that have three or more years of positive earnings in the last five years. And you see we have quite a number here. But we can pick even more fundamentally sound stocks. We can pick the stocks that have current assets above current liabilities on their balance sheet, of which all the stocks that the app pulls up have total assets above total liabilities, but now it's current assets as well. So, makes for a pretty solid balance sheet. We can separate stocks that have greater than 10% profit margin on the income statement. And now we see that long list is down to four companies. And we can even separate the companies that are buying back shares of stock for all five years. Now we see it's down to three companies. Now, as of lately, there's been another feature added in, in the Stock Sage app. Knowing how there's a certain segment of the investing community that love high dividend yields, now the app can even separate stocks that ha in at their 52-week low that have a dividend yield greater than 4%. There should be none as of this weekend, 
that meet all the other criteria and are greater than 4%. But if we turn the filter off, for the other criteria, we'll see a number of companies at 4% or greater. Havity Furniture, 8.88%. That's a $25 stock. Donegal Group. 5.5%. That's a $12.42 stock. LCI Industries. 4.5%. That's a hundred dollar and fifty nine cent stock. And we can go down the list. One that I had noticed recently, even though it's not really in the buy range right now, because of its PE ratio. Based on the PE ratio where it is now. And where it was in previous years, I'd say, this stock can drop a lot further. But having said that, it's a $2.83 stock that is Diana Shipping with a 15.9% dividend yield. So, we see that now with the Stock Sage app, we can do much more analysis on these stocks. We can find much cheaper stocks and we can even filter out for stocks that have three or more years positive earnings with high dividend yields. Having said that, let's jump over into our watch list. So first we have Liberty Broadband. Now, this company is a no star. It's not on our watch list, but it's a 52.23 cent stock with the Yahoo analysts estimating that it's going to move up to $99.14 by in the next 12 months. That would be an 89.81% increase. And it has an earnings support dropping on August 2nd of 24 or later that week. We know an earnings report is sort of like going to a casino. The earnings report can come out bad, the stock can drop, it can come out good the stock can jump dramatically. The next stock that we have is CSG Systems. Now the stocks that are on my watch list, I break them down into three tiers. Three stars the most fundamentally sound, two stars is beneath that, and one star the least fundamentally sound but still sounds enough to make the watch list. CSG Systems is a two star. They have earnings report dropping on July 31st. We see the second positive week. First one slightly positive. This one moved up a little more. We want to see if it keeps moving up. The stock is at $41.41 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $65.56 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a 61.96% increase. We have Concentrix Corporation. They are a, well, actually, they're not on our watch list. They don't have any star ratings. They're not on our watch list. 
and they've sort of been moving in a sideways pattern, although this last week was slightly positive. They're at $60.66 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $87.80 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that would be a 44.74% increase. We have Papa John's International. This is another stock that's not on our watch list. They have an earnings report dropping on August 1st or later that week, moving sort of in a sideways pattern. They're at $47.21 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $69.25. If they do, that will be a 46.69% increase. We have Bruges Energy. They deal in oil. This is a very inexpensive stock. Their earnings report just recently passed. They are at 92 cents a share. And Yahoo analysts don't have an estimate, but my estimate based on PE ratio is that they could move up to $11.69 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that would be an 866.30% increase. We have Interparfums. They have an earnings report dropping on August 6th or later that week, and they are a two-star. We see a slight positive candle this week. We want to see what they move, do moving forward. In any event, they are at $112.51 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $165.60 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 47.19% increase. We have Dime Brands. They are the company that owns some pretty popular restaurants. They have an earnings report dropping on August 1st or later that week. They are no star. They're not currently on our watch list. But they are currently at $38.03 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $54.88 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 44.31% increase. We have Heritage Global. Heritage Global is a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping August 8th or later that week. They're currently at $2.36 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $4.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 97.88% increase. We have five below. They are a three star. They have an earnings report dropping August 28th or later that week. And after dropping significantly, they had a slightly positive week this week. We want to see what they do moving forward. They're currently at $115.34 a share. 
Yahoo analysts estimate they could move up to $160.01 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 38.73% increase. We have Innovative Solutions. They are a three-star. They are currently, well, they have an earnings report dropping on August 7th or later that week. And they're currently at $6.34 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $9.43 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 48.74% increase. We have gambling.com. They are a one star. They have earned support dropping August 15th or later that week. They're currently at $8.01 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $12.86 in the next 12 months. If they do, that would be a 60.55% increase. We have the ODP Corporation. Now, they are a one star, have an earnings report dropping on August 7th or later that week. They're currently at $38.95 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $72.23 in the next 12 months. If that they do, that will be an 85.44% increase. We have Lululemon. They are a three star. They have an earnings support dropping August 29th or later that week. Moving sort of in a sideways pattern. They're currently at $311.82 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $398.60 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 27.83% increase. Now, this one is not on our watch list, so there's no stars. But it's almost like a commodity, this stock, the deal in oil. WNT Offshore or WTI. They have an earnings support dropping on July 30th or later that week. They are currently at $2.12 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $10 a share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 371 0.70% increase. We have Paycom. They are a three star. Small candles moving in a sideways pattern. And they have an earnings support dropping on July 30th or later that week. They are currently at $147 and 40 cents a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $186.15 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 26.29% increase. We have Tegna Incorporated. They are a two star. Had a Positive week this week after dropping two in a row. They have an earnings report dropping on August 7th. Or, well, August 7th to be specific. 
They're at $13.41 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $19.13 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 42.65% increase. Cisco is a three star. They've had a positive week this week. They have an earnings report dropping on August 14th or later that week. They are currently at $47.29 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that in the next 12 months, they can move up to $54.79. If they do, that will be a 15.86% increase. We have Southside Bank shares. They are a two-star. Have an earnings report dropping August 20, well, July 23rd or later that week. They are currently at $26.22 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $31.33 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 19.49% increase. And lastly, we have Howdy International. Now, this chart looks horrible. This company has an earnings report dropping on September 6th or later that week. They are not currently on our watch list, which explains no stars. Nevertheless, despite that, the estimate is that this stock is currently at $2.32 a share, and the estimate is that it can move up to $8.89 in the next 12 months. If they do, that would be an 866.30% increase. So that's it for our this week's winning stocks, guys. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. And you have a great night.